Hello Inventors, in this video we are going to create 2048 puzzle game using MIT App Inventor. So open the ai2.appinventor.mit.edu website and click on a start new project. And my project name is game 2048 puzzle and ok. So that's our screen here ok. Now we need to just drag and drop some layout. In the left side you will find the layout, click on this and now click on that vertical arrangement like this. And make this width and height is fill parent like this. Cool. Now we need one button here. So click on user interface and drag and drop here one button here and change that text to something like race start. Okay, race start game. And change some font size around 20 or change some font color or font background and make this text color to white. So it looks fine. Cool. Now click on a screen and make this and align and the horizontal and vertical should be center like this. Okay. So that's our game screen. Now we need to download one extension here. So before we download the extension, we need to use here one more component that is notifier. So just drag and drop that notifier here. So we need one more component that is timer. So click on sensor and use here one timer like this. Okay. Make sure this is enabled is one second is fine. Now go to the extension side. I will give you that extension link in the description. That is the puzzle game view. Okay. Just download that extension first. So click on extension puzzle free view. And yeah, this will redirect you to another website. Yeah, download it. Go to the MIT app inventor. In the left side, you will find extension option. Click on import extension and drag and drop that extension here and just import it. Cool. Now wait some seconds to install or update that extension here. Cool. Now just drag and drop that extension in your screen. Okay. Now let's go to the block section and whenever someone open our app, it means whenever our screen will in a slice. Okay. So when screen one in a slice, then click on puzzle view. And as you can see, we have to create our puzzle. So call this method here like create and in which layout we have to create this game. So we have to create this layout in vertical arrangement. So just select this layout here. Now block X and Y. This value should be three or four. So I will use here four, four. So use numeric and just put four and just copy and paste this like this and make it four, right? It's done. Now let's click on that puzzle view again. And as you can see, when the puzzle on completed, so whenever this game is completed, then we will display some message like notifier is game is done or like you win something like that. Okay. So I will use your the show message dialog, this one simply, and I will put the message as something is messages restart the game. Okay. And the title I'm going to make it like you win you win and or something like winner or in the button text is say okay like this now uh, whenever you want to restart this game okay so click on this button one we have used as a button so drag and drop that button component and now click on puzzle view and as you can see the restart game call this here now we need one more thing here. Click on puzzle view. As you can see here, one thing on the error, there's one thing that is whenever the game is over, as you can see, is game over. So we have to check this, you know, every time. So how we can check that? So, so that's why I'm going to use here one timer. So this will check again in every seconds. The game is over or not. Okay. So yeah, I think we should use more, uh, better method for that i think okay but I, I don't think there is any option for that but if we will find then i'll show you how we can do this for current like i'm going to use your this if if the timer is on if the game is over okay if the game is over then i will display that so dialogue again and restart the game or something game over like this okay same thing like this but whenever we do this so we have to stop our timer so click on clock and as you can see it's timer enable to this should be false okay this should be false and i just type here false and drag and drop that here like this 
but just copy and paste this we have to enable our timer again whenever we restart again so we will start it true like this okay so that's the overall game okay it's really simple and amazing and it's really amazing game so let me try this game so as you can see that's the game here so we have to play this game so as you can see here two and two so whenever i move to the left so there is four moves in the left right top and bottom okay so what we need to do we need to mix two numbers okay same that number should be same like there is two two so just move to the left side like see four now here see there is no number okay there is no uh, number like four or there is no number like two so we can't match anyone right so what we need to do we need to just move anywhere in the four direction so let me just try to the down like see so there is a two and two let me just down see two and then four and then up then eight then four like so like this you have to create you have to make two zero four eight number okay like this four like this so you have to play this game like this see 16 is done so you have to make two zero four eight so whenever you complete two zero four eight so you win otherwise say so see whenever i do like this 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 so game will over whenever the whole column will fill like this there is no chance to move or there is no way to move okay so like this let me just try see there is no move so game over restart the game and just click on that restart game button see simple so that's the amazing game if you don't know how to play this game so i will explain you in another video okay